This is This Week in Acts. We read chapter 1 this week, which covers Luke's prologue, the ascension of Jesus, and the choice of Matthias to complete the numerical and symbolic integrity of the Twelve. In this video, I want to focus on Jesus' conversation with the apostles in verses 6 through 8. I think it's fascinating. There, the apostles want to know if this is the time when God will restore the kingdom to Israel. I like Jesus' reply. After stating that this particular knowledge is not accessible to them, this is what he states in verse 8. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Isn't that a wonderful statement, verse 8? I want us to notice several things about this particular conversation. First of all, let's notice how the geographical sequence in verse 8 provides a rough outline of the book. It begins with the ministry in Jerusalem in chapters 1 through 7, followed by the spread of the good news to Judea and Samaria in chapters 8 through 12, and then the mission all the way to Rome, chapters 13 through 28. Second, Let's notice that Jesus informs the apostles of what their role will be after the Holy Spirit has come upon them. What will be their role? They will be his witnesses. We may notice in our journey through Acts that the term witness is one of Luke's favorite to describe the followers of Jesus. Think of being witnesses in a twofold sense. The apostles will be witnesses to Jesus. That is, they will testify regarding what they have seen and what they have heard. But also, they will be his witnesses. His witnesses, that is, they will be his representatives to the people. Third, let's notice how Jesus shifts the focus in this conversation from knowledge to mission. Essentially, he says, I don't want you to focus on knowing what you don't need to know. I want you to focus on your role as my witnesses. I want you to be preoccupied with your mission. Hmm. I think that's pretty good advice for us. We cannot be witnesses to Jesus in the same way that the first apostles were, no. But we can be his witnesses to the extent that we represent him and that we testify of what he has done in our lives. And while we are often preoccupied with knowledge, perhaps we need to focus on our mission. And what is that mission? To make and grow disciples? I think that's a fairly good answer, I believe, which comes, by the way, straight out of the Great Commission. God bless you this week.